In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert a line graph or a line chart from something like this, a basic design you can see here, to something like this. You can see here I have added some good color combination, a uh, shadow effect has been given, different colors, bigger the markers here. So it is more easily understandable by the audience. So let's see how to do this, the chart from this to something like this. Add a new slide, go to insert and I'm going to select charts and let me just select the line chart. Any chart you can select, not a problem. And in this case, I'm just going to select with line with markers and click OK. So you have got uh, this particular information here. You can just change the information. Let me just change this to 2018. 2019 and 2020 and close this one so if you already have the existing chart you can change with the existing chart also or you can just create a new one so first of all I'm just going to select the chart and reduce the size a little bit you can see hold the shift key while reducing the size and then right mouse click go to format chart area and first thing I'm going to select the grid lines. Can you see the grid lines here? I'm making it transparent. You can make it maybe 90%. And then let me just delete the chart title. Select this and click the delete button that has been deleted. And if you want, you can just increase or decrease the, the chart area. It's up to you. And then once this is done, I'm just going to select insert shapes and from the rectangles, I'm going to select this rectangle top corners rounded. Just draw this one here. You can see here, I'm not going to take the categories uh, there. So only till this much part and you can make it less curved. You can see here and shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. You can give any color. For example, let me just change the background color. I'm going to change the background color to some dark colors. And this one, I'm going to make it white. You can see here and then go to format, send this to back. So you end up getting something like this. Let me just increase the size further down. You can hold the alt key also. You can see here. And then you can select these lines here you can see a select this one inside this you can go to the design and change the color of the lines whichever color which you feel okay you can just go and change it and then i'm going to select each line and you can go to fill and increase the width it is 2.25 let me just make it maybe a four point this also i'm just going to make it four point you can see here and this also I can make it four point and then you can see the markers here that markers also I can go and change you can see there's a marker I'll just click it here marker options by default it is automatic I'm just going to make it built in and the size I'm going to increase to 10 you can see here I've got the bigger markers this also built in and increase to 10 and here also I'm going to make it built in and increase to 10 and apart from this, I'm going to the effects and going to give the shadow effect. I'm just saying bottom here. Can you see? Let me just select this and you can press the F4 key so that it will repeat. You can see here we have done this much part. And then I'm just going to add one more rectangle at the bottom. And this one, the legend also, you can just increase it and you can just uh, drag it and you can put it here also. And then let me just add the one more rectangle at the bottom you can see something like this shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to more colors and let me just select some dark blue color and click ok and then send to back and you can see here the categories are not visible i'm just selecting the categories and make it a white font and you can increase the font size also you can see here and this also you can increase the size if you want. Now once this is done, uh, it's time to add the header. Let me just reduce the size. You can see here we can reduce the size something like this. And then here I'm going to add the 
header or the title before adding the title let me just select all and just bring it exactly in the center and then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much area we can see here make sure it is center shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select the dark color you can see here and then i want to give one more shape there go to insert shapes i'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here and make this color as black shape outline make it no outline let me just zoom in and i'll going to place it here go to rotate you can flip vertical and then you can do one more time this one flip vertical flip vertical then flip horizontal and then flip vertical and then just reduce the size you can see here then press ctrl d to duplicate it bring the other side you can see and i'm just going to paste it here and then again we need to rotate it to horizontal so it looks something like this you can see here and then you can go to insert text box and you can add the text i'll just say sales comparison year on year let me just correct spelling make it white center align make it bold increase the size put it here and then i'm just going to give some shadow effect here for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to make it black increase the transparency level go to the effects from here i'm going to select the soft edges and increase the soft edges you can see something like this let me just increase the height and just bend it a little bit you can see here something like this and then send this to back let me just make it more back press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side just bend it towards the right now you can see here and then just go to format send to back and make sure that it is aligned properly so you can see here i have just converted the chart from something like this to chart something like this that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.